What's up, Basketball fans? Welcome back to Time Out. Hai teman-teman, gue Ricky Padilla dan sekarang kita ada di part 2 untuk press conference BTN CSS Indonesia dan kali ini gue berkesempatan untuk menginterview mungkin pahlawannya BTN CSS Indonesia kemarin ini yaitu Wong Welong serta juga my boy Brandon Jawado kalau gitu langsung kita lihat interviewnya penting apakah ada bonus ya untuk kemenangan ini apakah bisa langsung dijawab? apakah bisa langsung dijawab? mungkin? <laughs> Kalau dari kita memang dari sebelum sistem mulai itu udah kita muat di kontrak Jadi udah ada bonus-bonusnya udah jelas Dan selain bonus yang um, ada di kontrak Kemarin malam kita uh, dari Yayasan CLS juga ada hadiah tambahan Ada holiday trip buat mereka uh, Belum tergantung dari teman di samping saya ini dia yang uh, nentuin mau kemana perginya jadi nasib teman-teman yang lain terserah dia mungkin mau ke sidoarjo atau kemana itu nanti terserah dia uh, dan selain itu kalau dari kita akan ada satu perhiasan tambahan untuk di jari mereka nantinya uh, selain itu terserah dari pak ferry sini ini perlu dijawab Pak Ferry atau enggak nih Pak? Mau langsung dijawab atau mungkin rahasia nih Pak? Uh, ya enaknya nanti biar Pak Budi aja di direksi Dilempar ya? Biar surprise nya biar dari direksi Biar surprise They're gonna be surprised Alright, next to me The guy who hit probably the biggest shot of this series Before we talk about the shot mm -hmm. Sandy told me that you didn't even know that the play was for you. <laughs> uh, the play wasn't really for me, but just... Uh, no, actually, sorry, sorry. Not the play, not for you, but you didn't know that you were to, supposed to be on the court. That's what he told me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think is so. It, is it the same story? Is it the same story now? No, because when, when, uh, when, when Coach Byron mm -hmm. drew the play, uh, he told... He told me to stand this place, to set this screen. So I was like, um, was that me? And then I saw someone stepping it out. And I was like, uh, 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 okay, okay. So then I'll just take my seat. Then suddenly, wait, here, oh my god. Yeah, okay, 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 here I come. But, uh, but I knew what was, what was going on. So uh, my job is to set a good screen for uh, Asho mm -hmm. to have a quick two point. But it just. He just, he just, you know, somehow, you know, I got that luck and I was open and then, yeah, things happen. Things happen. So that was the biggest shot of the series, I think. But you were struggling, though, the whole yeah. series, scoring the ball. Yeah. So what can you say about the trust that everybody has on you? Uh, I'm not really very sure, you know. <laughs> like, uh, you know, like, I, I, uh, like I don't have this trouble against uh, any other teams, uh, even in the quarterfinals and, and 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 even in the semifinals. I think uh, you know everything goes smoothly for me, uh, both on defensive and offensive end. But just somehow, uh, when I play against Slingers, uh, I have actually nothing to prove. But just um, I don't have much anxiety too. Mm -hmm. Probably the first two games in the regular season, yes, no, I I, I admit that I do have some anxiety. But um, after which. It's just, I think probably there's a lot of chit chat going yeah. on between me and Desmond and, and some <laughs> of the local players. So, um, yeah, so I'm not really very sure what's going on, but uh, I tried to do my best on, on, on defensive end because I know I know that I couldn't give them on um, the, the offensive end. So, yeah. so last one, uh, what do you have to say to the CLS, BTN CLS fans? Uh, BTN, CRS, Knights fans, you guys are crazy and I'm gonna remember you guys forever and ever and ever with all the chan, the singing and um, the praises you had for me. So uh, I really appreciate that. Terima kasih. Enjoy man the championship. Thank you, Elong. Thank you so it's much. It's been fun following you this whole season. <laughs> Thank you Hopefully so much. Hopefully 
You're gonna come back next season with CLS. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, just, just a very quick one. Uh, I came here with very little followers, and suddenly, <laughs> nah, just man. within like seven, seven, six months, it just boom. So, thank you everybody for supporting me. Uh, no, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's the power of they call it netizen yeah. of Indonesia. Yeah, this is really strong. Amazing. So, enjoy the championship, man. All right, thanks. Appreciate that. Oh, so, I'm right here with my boy Wado. Congratulations, man. Hey, thank you so much, man. Thank you, Rocky, for bringing me back on your on your uh, TV station. I almost literally bring him back to basketball, actually. So, you if, did, if you, you remember, did. we met we met in, at Fox Hills Malls. Yes, we be, did. Before oh before the, yeah. before Fox you Hills signed him in LA, Culver City was happening. You know, LA stand up. So he was asking me for my advice before he come back to before he come back to basketball. So exactly. I'm glad you came back and you become a champion. Yeah, bro, it's such a blessing, bro. Honestly, like I took what two years off, yeah. um, wasn't able to play in the IBL because of some paperwork situations and then after that um, had another knee surgery and now I am a champion bro and honestly it's been such a blessing bro honestly like hard work pays off pays off big time and I just want to give that message to the younger generation seriously like if you work hard and you believe in yourself you can be a champion you can be anything you want to be anything is possible so after a two-year break take me to this journey though take me through this journey man Bro, like, I was just doing other things, you know, and trying to make money other ways, you know, like, I think just God was telling me, you know, like, it wasn't my time for basketball because I played, in 2015, I played in the IBL, made it to the championship my rookie season, even though we lost, you know, but it was a great experience, and then after that, the IBL didn't want to bring me back for the following season to play, and I felt like... God was just telling me something like uh, basketball is not the right time and the right place for me to be like to be playing at the moment. So after that being said, I, I was I was doing some modeling and working other jobs here and there. And then you talked to me about event about going back to, to ball and you know it was I was like I really thought about it, really thought about it and then I just I just kept training like after I got my knee surgery I, re I recovered kept training um, in LA kept working hard and then Chris gave me a call actually I met him at Earth Cafe in California uh -huh. in, a, in a Hollywood area so I met him um, Chris um, in, uh, in, at Earth Cafe and he talked to me about giving me the opportunity to come to CLS and play for him and I was like yeah that sounds like a great opportunity I think about it and man I did it I went to see <laughs> BTN CLS nights and look I'm a champion bro like that's God's calling it's all about like God's timing honestly and I'm so blessed bro I'm so blessed man and Indonesia's on the map for basketball and it's, 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 it's a beautiful feeling because I felt like I felt like you know like people people didn't want to see us succeed but we stuck together we trust one another and we made it happen I gotta stop talking bro. <laughs> it's okay it's okay that's why I interview you no hold on uh, I feel like you have you had a different approach to this season I feel like you oh, elevated yeah, yeah. your game like another yeah, level another sure, gear sure. so what was your approach to heading to this ABL season um you know like after after my first year of playing pro in the IBL mm -hmm. like um, I saw myself not really like like I wasn't as, as really focused you know I wasn't really like mm -hmm. taking care of my body and how I do now and um, and you know I was like I'm getting another shot at this professional basketball thing let me give it all I got let me let me take care of my body to the best of my abilities let me go to, go to practice every day and give it hundred and ten percent two hundred percent three hundred percent and just go all out with it you know and and honestly, bro, just staying prayed up, like, you know, praying to God and just staying close to him, like, it, it pays off. It really pays off. And it's a blessing, bro. Like, I took I took this, ser this season really seriously. And I felt like I had a lot to prove to Indonesia, you know, because after I left that IBL season, my, you know, like, I, I was hearing rumors, like, not not good things about my name, you know, and that, that, I really took that to heart, and that, that hurt me, you know, like, damn, like, people are talking bad about me, like, I was doing this, doing that, you know, and I was like, you know what, when if I come back to Indonesia, and I'm, and I'm able to play in the Asian Basketball League, I'm going to prove a statement, you know, and 
and it, it all came together and I couldn't have done it with Chris, Shirley, Ferry, the whole the whole coaching staff, organization, uh, my, my, my teammates, my family, God, you know, man, it's just a blessing, bro. How you even get a chance to celebrate because I saw you working out already? Uh, um, honestly, no, not really. Like, honestly, um, I took I took one day off, and that was a travel day, and I'm back to it, man, because I want, I want to stay in shape, you know, because uh, there's a lot of tournaments going on this season, and I, I just, my, my life, I, I've honestly, my life revolves around basketball now. Like, I'm really, like, this is what I want to do for for a while. So this is my career, you know, I feel like. I can I can make a living doing this, and uh, eventually when when I'm done playing, I can give back to the younger generations of basketball players in Indonesia and and all around the world. So I just I, I just want to um, I, I just want people to know to, to believe in themselves and, and work hard, and, and and that if you if you stick if you trust the process, then I believe you can make it happen for yourself. Last words for the BTN CLS Nights fans. Um, BTN CLS Nice fans, um, I love you guys. You guys are so loyal. Um, you guys are the best fans ever, like the best fans in the world. I've never felt the energy playing in Gorka, the Jaya, and anywhere else. Like, thank you guys so much for for always being being there for us and cheering us on. I love you guys, man. God bless you all. Go BTN CLS Nice. Let's get it. So that's Wado, my boy. Enjoy, man, this hey, championship. Thank you, thank you for this thank interview, you so man. Much, man. Appreciate you, my dog. Dengan juara ini akan dilanjutkan untuk musim ketiga dan berikutnya. Oke, terima kasih, Mato Mas. Langsung ini straight forward pertanyaannya boleh langsung dijawab oleh Pak Kristofer. Uh, saya mau istirahat dulu, mas. Uh, Kayaknya mic-nya nggak mau saya jawab. Yeah. <laughs> e, saya belum bisa jawab sekarang. Tahun depan kita main di mana? Karena memang e, kita belum meeting lagi dengan ABL dan saya juga belum meeting lagi dengan e, pimpinan yayasan kita. E, masih enjoy dengan euforia juara. Jadi mungkin dalam berapa minggu ke depan kita baru bisa ada jawaban. Oke. Okay. Thank you to Brandon Jawado dan juga Wong Melong untuk interviewnya. Kita harapkan BTN Sosial Indonesia akan kembali lagi nih ke ABL season mendatang. Karena sayang banget ya udah juara, kalau gak dipertahani nih sayang banget sebenernya gue. Jadi kita harapkan semua kita doakan agar BTN Sosial Indonesia akan kembali lagi ke ABL musim mendatang. Guys, kalau gitu itu aja liputan gue dari press conference-nya BTN Sosial Indonesia. Jangan lupa untuk like, jangan lupa untuk komen, dan jangan lupa untuk subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.